they could have been a murderer. And had like next one with a guy on Plumin. Misha's oh. fan. Random guy sit down at dinner with us. I really fancy your friend's boyfriend though. <laughs> Happy morning. Happy morning. Wow. That's a new one. Happy morning. Yes. Yeah. Hi, it's currently 10.19 on Monday the 10th of June and you may have guessed we're not in our normal location. No. We're in Mykonos. Yeah. This is Georgia. Hi guys. You may, you may, you will recognise her. <laughs> and today we're going to get ready. Yeah. Holiday, easy, glam, lightweight. I agree, that's the kind of vibe I'm thinking. Yeah, Glowy. quick. I'm not gonna do foundation, I'm gonna do no. tinted moisturizer. Yeah. We're all good. I'm on the same page. Yeah, we've also asked for questions oh, yes. on Instagram, so we can have a little chit chat as we go. Oh, I love that. Even though we do that enough anyway. Um, also, you're uploading one as well, aren't you? Yes. Of a similar thing. So, Go and check that out. I'll link it down below. I'll link it on the screen. I'll link it here, there, everywhere. Shimmy, shimmy, hey, shimmy, hey, shimmy, hey. I like that. Also, if we sound dead, we've got the- yeah, I know, I'm realizing how actually we don't sound great. No, we don't. It's because of the aircon. I should have yeah. turned the aircon off last night. The aircon. Yeah. I learned, I learned. Oh, you do your lenses, boo. Also, you're so bad at sleeping with a bit of makeup on. Also. I can still see your eyeshadow. Also, I slept my lenses in again. You slept your lenses in? Again. It's like a row. so bad for my eyes. Awful, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that Learn from Jesus' mistakes. She's back in the room. Okay, so I feel like the first thing we should discuss that is on the forefront of everyone's minds is Love Island. Island. Woo! I feel you there. We've actually been watching it whilst yeah, we're here. I know. Someone messaged me and they were like, I hope you guys are still being able to watch Love Island. I was like, don't you worry. Yeah, but G did fall asleep halfway through it last night. Nice so we need to go back and finish watching it. Yeah. Because um, apparently one cool. day it goes on a date. You go, Ben Coco. Actually, I read that on Twitter. Yes. And everyone's very pleased for her. Um, lovely girl. So, your yeah, thoughts. I like, I like her up today. Yeah, I really like her. She who seems like a girl I would actually be friends with. Agreed. Who would you pick for your guy? We all know who it is. I would pick Tommy. But I say that. His personality, personality isn't that is great. not really, like, doesn't really get vibe with me. He hasn't made a single. When have we laughed at Tommy? Fit lad, I know. L sweet boy. Mm. But also, a sweet boy doesn't tell everyone he's a sweet boy. I know what you mean. That's Sorry. such a point. Sorry. It makes me think you're guilty. That's such a point. Like, you, if you're a nice person, you have to tell everyone you you're a nice all person. The time. It's not like, oh, guys, he's I'm great. Obviously, a very attractive boy. Yeah, and I didn't think that to begin with, but now I do. Yeah, but I'm not sure what else there's there. That sounds really horrible. No, but no. like for me personally, like he's not like got a captivating chat or like, and I actually prefer that so much. Oh more. my god, you can be beautiful. Yeah. But if you're boring, exactly. I'm like me. Um, I can't find my tinted moisturiser. Where am I'm I? I'm having. It? I'm making a concoction. <laughs> Window. So what I'm using instead of foundation whilst we're on holiday is the Vita Liberate Beauty Blur. Honestly, this stuff, shade latte, life changing, life changing. Um, who would you step forward for if you were a guy? Which girl would you step forward for? Lucy. Yeah. Because I think she's naturally so beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. Um, which I think sometimes on Love Island is a little bit rare. I'm just saying it how it is. No, I don't think There's disagree. nothing wrong with doing whatever you want, but I just quite like the fact that she is just kind of like... I mean, some some days here you can tell she's not got loads of makeup on. Yeah, she's, she's still kind of like... Women fabulous. Yeah. Um, to be fair, they all look really yeah. good without makeup. They do, and all the girls actually seem really nice. Yeah. I actually really like... That I, don't know this, I really like Anna. Yeah, I really like Anna. I really like Anna. Um, I didn't vibe Amber to begin with. I do oh, yeah. find her quite funny. Oh, she yeah. is very hostile in her behaviour. She's just quite dry. Yeah, the very dry. The was rude and now I'm like, is she just got like quite a dry, dry sense of humour? Yeah. Like, I agree, I agree. Honestly, where has my brain gone? Because now I can't find my Love Island mirror. <laughs> this has been sent to me by VO5. That's really cool. Um, and it's actually adorable. I'm vibing it. Anyway, let's have a look. I think if I was stepping forward yes. for a guy, I'd go for Joe. Um, yeah, I totally get that. Because I feel like... He's beautiful as well. He's the loveliest eyes. Yeah, but it does scare me that he literally looks like thingy Joe from you. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it would scare me a bit. Do you know who else I'd actually really like? Sharif. Sharif. I love Sharif. Like, he is a funny guy. 
he's like a manly man. Like, yeah. I actually really like Sharif. No, I agree. So. But also, by the time this goes live, there would have been like another four days of Love Island. Yeah. So for all we know, people that we like now, we could hate tomorrow. Yeah. Because that is Love Island. Yeah. Everyone goes like hot and cold with people. Yeah. Um, and also, I don't know if you guys know, slash remember, but I know Molly very, very well. Um, she was in my 18th birthday vlog. She was in my 20th, 20th birthday vlog. Um, so it's effing weird to watch it with someone that you know in it and it freaks me out. Like she's got blue and Ellie belly there, a blue and elephant pillow. And I'm an elephant pillow as well. And we were like, oh yeah, we're the elephant pillow girls. Very bizarre. So, so weird. Also, if she ends up in a relationship with Tommy, I will cry. Because I basically just snagged him off. I'll cry as well because, like, you want to be with him. You know that I really fancy your friend's boyfriend, though. I mean, it would be a great twist of events. I can't see it lasting. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I just think maybe he needs to come out of the shell a bit. Who knows? Yeah. I know what you mean. But less one liners, please, Tommy, because I, I can't think he tries to it. say what he thinks. Girls People want, want to, to hear. hear. I agree. Rather I than agree. maybe what authentically comes out of his mouth. I agree. Um, also, can we look at all the freckles on my nose right now? <gasps> so freckly. Yay, go you. I'm jelly. Someone's asked, what clubs are you going to while in Mykonos? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> well, well, well. I don't know well. where to begin with that one, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's fair to say the happening place of Mykonos is the Scandinavian Maybe. bar. Wow. And um, it's fair to say that me and G got involved with the locals, slash everybody, sure. at the Scandinavian bar, on the bar top. Dancing our heart out. Yep. Me and G got on the... We would, I would never do that in England. Also, oh, the security no, would kick done. you off. Yeah, I'm like, it would, like, it would health and safety. Like, no, it'd never that. happen. But um, they were so nice, and everyone in there was really nice as well. Yeah, they fair. were. We made friends of everyone, yeah. ended up in the VIP area, I don't yeah. know how I got us there, I'm honestly not sure. I just followed you. We yeah. walked in and I was looking for the bar and I assumed the bar was at the back. That's what made me laugh because you thought that that was the bar and then you turned around and you were like, eh? Yeah, I was so confused, I was like, where's the bar? It very much wasn't the bar, but we stayed there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Met a stag do. Oh yeah. Honestly, and they were such sweeties. We got in all their photos as I well. I know, I know. <laughs> crying, it's crying. crying. I'm gonna look back at their photos in like 10 years and we're gonna be in them. <laughs> These two random girls. Yeah, yeah. Now, this next question absolutely kills me. Oh, God. Georgia, is it strange for you because you used to be Misha's oh. fan? This is a good, I actually quite like this question. No, but you, no one has ever, a I hate the word yeah, fan. I, I actually agree with you, I hate that word, but then sometimes people use it like, it's just off the cuff, isn't it? Yeah, I mean the thing is, like a fan of someone is very different to like a fan, you know what I mean? Yes, that's true. In context. That's so true. I never think of anyone so, as a fan. So I, I, do think it's, I do think it's weird. So when I was at uni, um, me and my uni friend, Charlotte, um, <laughs> we used to basically go on a night out and then the next morning we would sit in bed and we would watch YouTube videos and we would always, always watch your YouTube videos. So weird. It's so, it's so weird, isn't it? So weird. So I watched you all the time, I thought she was so funny, like... And then I was a bitter disappointment. No, I just thought you were like different as well, like, on YouTube, I don't know. Do you kind of know oh, what I mean? I'm a bit more off the cuff. It's just different. I'm a bit yeah. too honest. So we would always watch your videos and, yeah, and then we just like randomly spoke, didn't we? That was, that was really weirder. But then I think the thing is, it's like, you either get on with someone or you don't. Yeah. You can really, like, you can really I agree. admire someone or, but if you don't really get on, then it's not only going to go so far anyway. You can meet a lot you, of, like, YouTube people that you love and then they're a bit of disappointment. Yeah, yeah. So it was just weird for us, I think, that, like, the minute that we met, we just got on so well. Oh, it was like, hi, I've made a new best friend. That was, that was odd. All the social media was pretty, like, sorry. This girl, what? she's known this girl for, for a day. Minutes, she's really, like, she's my best friend. Like, yeah. But I do think we both have that kind of th thing where like we just either click with someone or we don't. I agree, I agree completely. Oh my god, also, side note into makeup products, Too Faced Concealer. Oh my this god. This one recommended. The best concealer. Amazing, honestly I don't know amazing. Where mine is, but here's mine. Incredible. I've got shade Pearl. And what shade have you got? Of course, Elaine. I think yours is one of the new. new yeah, ones. mine's one of the new undertones. I think it's more yellow, which is a bit of me. Yeah. Um, and honestly. I mean, it's full coverage, but I like that. I say, I like that. It like really blurs out the under eye. Oh god, yeah. Next is, would you ever do Love Island? Which is actually something that me and you discuss, have discussed, I think. Yeah. Um, which is quite funny. And I always get DMs like, you need to be on Love Island. You need to be on Love Island. And the funny thing is, 
I would actually love to go on the show itself. Yeah. Because I think it would actually be really fun. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't want it to be shown to the world. And I know that sounds That's ridiculous. The point. And I know it's amazing because all these people are going to come out and they're going to have two million followers on Instagram and they're going to have a completely different life and blah, blah, blah. But I just don't think that that life is for me. Yeah, because it's a whole new level of, yeah, of that. It's Literally. It's like this, but on a million steroids. Oh, yeah. It's, it's... Um, and like obviously when I go out, I meet some of you guys, but you guys are people my age, you guys are girls who I would be friends with. Yeah. It's not like every Tom, Dick and Harry knows and also, who you are. And like, people on Twitter can be so savage about the Love Island lot. Like, mm. It's not all happy days. Like, no, it's not. It is also a bit like... Yeah, and the thing is, everyone obviously wanted Love Island to be axed because of what happened with Mike. Yeah. And I completely understand. But what I said yesterday is it's not necessarily the show that is to blame. I'm sure it is partially, and I know it's slightly controversial to say this, but people need to be a lot kinder with their words because everyone just thinks, oh, they're not going to see it because they're this big celebrity. It's like, no, not everyone has such a thick skin. Yeah. And although you go on that show, it doesn't mean that you do. Like, recently I was at an event and I met one of the Love Island girls from last year. And you could see that she really didn't have that much of thick skin yeah. and little comments would really hurt her. Yeah. Um, what about you, Missy? Would you ever go on Love Island? No. I don't think I ever would. I think I would get, I think I'd get upset because of the nature of the show. I mean, let's be serious, like we put these people together after like three days and then someone else comes in, they're off with someone else and like it can get a bit toxic, in my opinion, I, if I was in the show. Yeah, I, I love to watch it. Yeah. But there's I a difference. Could, you couldn't do it yourself. I also couldn't do the games. No, I've I never refuse. been one for those. I've never been one for the whole spin the bottle type thing it's just not really me and to do that on telly like you know when they all kiss everyone and stuff like that i don't know i find it really awkward but yeah i just wouldn't like not it. even because my parents are watching because i wouldn't care about that like blooming hell i've necked on with a guy on blooming in a club wow. with my family stood right next to me um i would just find it really awkward and like if i like I spoke to someone it. and they started asking questions like i talk on you it's weird though okay like, anything that i'd probably say on that show i've already probably said on, on youtube, YouTube. But it's for some reason, I think because although this goes out to the world, it is a smaller yeah, audience. Um, haven't got how many hundreds of millions of views. Um, and people that don't know judgment. you as well. You know, yeah. like everyone that watches your videos knows you. Like, you know, they, whereas you see an hour show every evening on Love Island, people don't know I agree. you. Well. Also, you've got an awful foundation line. <laughs> Love you, but you've got a mask. <laughs> It's because my neck never goes brown. Never. My neck is my so My chest pale. does, but my neck doesn't. Right, um, we've caught a little... No, G's caught more sun than I have. I've oh. caught burn. Do you ever become roommates? Oh, yeah. Hun well, <laughs> from my point of view, 100%. I said this to you. 100%. I was like, I can see us getting a little flat, flat. outside of London, yeah. near where G lives, and it would literally be the best freaking time ever. 100%. I, but I think because we spend quite intense bouts of time with each other we know that we could get on in that context because I think you can have really good friends that not necessarily live with them but I know I, I think we could definitely live together I agree and also um there's very few people in my life that I could spend an unlimited amount of time, time with, with and I wouldn't be like oh go away yeah and I think I'm one of those people oh thanks you're welcome <laughs> she's great guys great friend I highly <laughs> recommend Georgia Cute. 10 out of 10 on TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor. <laughs> Flipping Daniel. I know. We've definitely met some interesting, interesting characters. characters. Last night we joined like a 60th birthday party. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. The Professor Italian, Gigi. The Italian man. Italian men. If there's any Italians watching this. Wow. Wow. You lot are forward. Yeah. To say the least. Yeah. And these two random guys sit down at dinner with us. So they literally just sat at our table. Yeah. yeah. And one of the waiters, oh my god, bless their soul, fully tried to come Rescue in and protect us. us. He actually really did that guy this morning, by the way. Honestly, it was adorable. He really tried to, like, bless his soul. Um, also, I am not wearing lashes at the moment. I'm literally just wearing mascara. And I'm kind of vibing it, you know. Oh my god, I think my lashes look great at the moment. Thanks, bub. Um, also, I actually got a mask line as well. Oh, have you? I love that. Absolutely fabulous. What did you think of each other the first time that you met? I thought you were pretty much exactly the same as you are online. Okay. I thought you were really confident. But then, I mean, I guess 
Me, you should have never met before. I should probably be a bit confident as well. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah. Like to go and meet someone that you like never like just like and we got on just, like into chat like that and be all you like. You could have been a murderer. I could have been a murderer. We just we just really <laughs> that is Misha's line at the moment. <laughs> everything. Anytime we meet someone, she just goes, "They could have been a murderer," and I'm like, "It's true. They could." They we could. just don't know. Statistically, I think we're o we're okay most of the time. Touch wood. Can you not, not jinx us? That's true. I'm actually touching wood. Yeah. Nothing. See, that's funny. I I watched G's videos for flipping ages before we met, um, and I should have really like commented on one or like said that I was watching them. Yeah, but I, I do the same. You yeah, just don't. You realise in this world that a lot of YouTubers watch each other, and they don't realise that. They watch, they watch your videos. Like Flossie watches my videos. Yeah. I didn't know that. And then like I when met she her. commented on my on my video a long thing, I was like, oh my god. Literally. It's actually crazy. Yeah. Um and with when I first met you, so I actually thought you were more confident in person, person than I am than on YouTube. Yeah. But I think you're coming out of your yeah. shell even more I, on YouTube. I know now. what you mean. I think now that you've started doing all your like swimwear videos I agree. and you're fully like 100% being yourself. I'm trying to be, yeah, I think yeah, you're right. Yeah, authentic. I do think you are right. And I'm loving it. I'm Which loving is so it. weird because I feel like most people are the other way around. Most people are probably more confident on YouTube and not in person. Do you kind of know what I mean? No, I agree. So That happens a lot. Yeah. Um, but then personality wise, I just, I literally just left and was like, oh, I've got a new best friend. We just friend. clicked, didn't we? We did. We, did. we honestly sat at this restaurant for like four hours and we it was a Saturday as well yeah, and they wanted literally. the table and we were just like no talking talking like I told you things that like loads of friends, friends don't even yeah. know in the first day yeah. that I ever met you how crazy is that mental also I feel like we know so much about each other's lives because we've so, only known each other for five months but yeah but we sit and just like chat for hours and hours and hours oh my God. we've never ever run out of anything to say to one another imagine Physically impossible. This question's for you. Do you find it hard to find guys taller than you? Because I'm 16 and 5'9", everyone is so short. Yeah, I think I do. So I'm, I'm like, technically, like me and my mum measured me the other day and I'm 5'7 and a bit. Nah, I swear you're 5'10". Sorry, you're 5'10 in my eyes. I know, I feel it. I always have like a bit of a, like, chunk on. on or something. And I think because I feel so much taller, like people think I'm taller, and I make such a big thing of being so tall. I genuinely think you're like 10 foot. I know. <laughs> oh, it's definitely hard to find tall boys. I think this generation is a much shorter year. I think it's definitely hard. I'll go in my house and I'll be like, right. And then I'll look at the ones that are taller than me, and I'll be like, oh, there's only about three in here. Like, honest to God. And like, two of them might have a girlfriend. But then what Misha does is she decides because there is one tall guy that he's gonna be the love of my life he's gonna be her blooming boyfriend yeah and they end up being a creepy weirdo <laughs> yes and me and g are like shall we run out of this club right now <laughs> that has happened yeah that has happened more than once probably don't don't um okay. i don't think i'm gonna bother putting anything in my eyes no, I haven't. I've got no eyeshadow, just mascara. Yeah. And you've got lashes anyway. Yeah. Best tip on how to be happy single. Oh, cute. Cute question, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I, I absolutely love being happy single. I think it's something that comes with time. I agree. You don't I agree. Just, especially if you've been in a relationship. That, that initial time of Because like it's a shock to the system yeah. that you're no longer in a relationship. Yeah, especially when you spend so much time with someone. I do get it. Oh, God, yeah. But I love the single life. No, I think like, having a good group, group of friends and like going out and A million percent, a million percent, a million percent, a million percent. I always think if you're single, it's your perfect time to work on you. Oh, I love that. You can be selfish. Selfish. That's the thing that scares me about relationships. I'm so stuck in my way of being selfish and only thinking about myself that I feel like it'd be a major shock to the system. Mm. Like a major shock. Um, but yeah, I just think, you know, you do you, do what you want to do, go out, don't go out, go to the park bench, sit by yourself yeah. and have a glass of wine. Go to the gym, start a new class, like, you can do, it's your personal time, you can do whatever the heck you want with it. Exactly. Um, I also love a night out, so like, obviously when you're a single girl, you can go out on a Saturday night and like, not even like, go out to like, find boys, but literally just, go, you, you don't have anyone. That's us though, we don't go out to find boys, we no. just have a good time. Yeah. Like and the weirdos just, seem to find us. Yeah, yeah. It's just I don't know. It's just your 
own time. I agree. But I think it also goes in waves. So I think you can have time. You go through stages where you, like, back in mm, October last year, I think I wanted a boyfriend. See? So, like, it does come and go in waves. And I then agree. And you'll have moments where you're like, oh my gosh, now I'm loving this whole, yeah. you know, independent woman vibe. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Do I put some faux freckles? I've put a few. I think I might copy you. Just to make because, it look a bit more bronzy. Yeah, and I don't have a single freckle on my face, and I'd like some. Yeah, I, I get them sometimes, but they don't last long. Like, when my tan goes, they go. Well, you're not going to have a tan that's going to be gone anytime soon, mate. By the time I see you in August, what's our favourite Starbucks drink? Oh, good question. What's your favourite? Oh, oh no, I kind of know your order. Oh, I don't know your order. Well, I don't think anyone knows my order because it's so coming long. Shot, almond milk. Well, it depends what drink it is. Yeah, that's true. If it's iced, then it's almond milk. If it's warm, mm. it's oat milk. Interesting. Because when you have it iced, do you still have oat milk? Yeah. See, I don't. But I get almond milk tastes absolutely fine. I kind of get why you wouldn't. Actually. But I feel like yours would be an iced latte. Mine would be, to be or fair. Or a warm I, latte. Iced latte is probably like a classic. Like a caramel macchiato in, some, in the winter. Oh, my friend Liv from college used to have that. Yeah, but it is nice. Um, I love a, like a peach green tea. I um, tried one of those yesterday, didn't I? Yeah. Very nice. I love like a lemon refresher. There are a lot. I had this drink in America, oh my gosh, they don't do it in the UK. It was like a pink... Is it the pink drink? It wasn't the pink drink because it wasn't like the pink milky one. It was like the pink, I don't know if you saw it on my I story. I saw it on your story. Yeah, I had so many people like, what is that drink? I can't remember what it was called, it was absolutely amazing. It was like a strawberry like iced tea with lemonade. Ooh. So good. I personally think Starbucks is the best coffee shop. I agree. I'm not a massive Costa fan. Same. The only drink I like from Costa is their coconut milk lattes. Because I don't I like, like Starbucks coconut milk. It's weird. It's got a funny aftertaste. Funny aftertaste. Um, but the Costa one doesn't. Yeah, I'm not really a Costa gal either. No, and I also think the food at Starbucks is better. Mmm. Like, if I had to, I could actually eat from Starbucks, yeah. whereas I don't think I could eat from Costa. Yeah. I love that. I think we do have quite similar drinks orders though, don't we? Oh, definitely. And all that, oh, iced latte. Do you have a warm latte? Yeah, like, but probably be like vanilla. Oh, really? Mm. So like I've never winter. had a syrup in my coffee, ever. Oh, don't start, because then you get really addicted. But they, they put too much syrup in, I have to always ask for less. Yeah, like one shot. Yeah. Pump it's probably it's, like 20. They put like six pumps in sometimes, and I'm like, what? I remember when me and mum were in America, when we were at Disney, we had this incredible drink. It was like a caramel frozen something, something. Yeah. It had 46 grams of sugar in it. 46 in grams of drink. sugar. In one drink. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. My freckles are a bit much, but I feel like so in the photo I. it won't no, show like up. That. I quite so like, I quite like, like little freckles anyway. I agree. You know what I didn't bring enough of this holiday? Lip options. Same. Although I'm going to do a gloss all over, but I don't know where my, oh, there's my bag. I can't find any of my lip products. This is the problem. I'm a mess. To be fair though, I think we've washed it. It is 10.47, so breakfast does end in 13 minutes. So do we go for brunch straight away or do we go here? Yeah, maybe we just go for brunch straight away. Yeah. We're going to Liberty Breakfast Room, which is like a 10 minute walk from our hotel and it looks amazing. Hey. <laughs> We're ready, steady, in swimwear. I'm gonna say go. <laughs> I literally nearly shouted out, go, <laughs> go. Um, also, how weird do I look in this outfit? And then it looks like I'm wearing no bottom. She's got bikini bottoms. I have green bikini bottoms on. Don't worry, guys. Um, but we are going to go and take some bikini photos, go for brunch. Yeah. We're getting honked at. I know, I was like, a boat. <laughs> There's not even a road there, so I'm like, where is that coming from? Maybe it's coming from the little car park. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. You're not wrong. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this little light hearted chat to get out. ready with us on holiday. Yeah. Um, this is our looks. These all looked glowy. We've gone very glowy today, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we have. Just I'm kind of natural. So glowy. Yeah. You know, easy peasy, lemon, lemon squeezy. squeezy. Avocado easy. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, loving that. Wow. Anyway, so we're going to go, but make sure to check out Georgia's channel. Make sure to check out Georgia's video. Go send her lots of love. 
Follow us both on Instagram. I'll link everything down below. And let us know what videos you want us to do together in the future yeah. because we're always together. Maybe we might see each other up for today. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Mm. I have to see how the rest of the holiday goes. Yeah, if we haven't killed each other by the end. <laughs> or someone else, according to you. Touch wood. Yeah. Don't, 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 please touch it. I'm so hips, hips, no. What's the word? Hips, um, what's the word? Oh my God, what's the word? Superstitious, no. Superstitious, superstitious. Superstitious, superstitious. Wow, superstitious. that was, that was funny there. Yeah. We literally. Hypostitious. Hypostitious. I was going, hypnosis in my head. I was like, hypnosis. <laughs> anyway, do you know what? Love you guys lots. Please do like and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Mwah.